Hello, everybody. I'd like to do another segment on my prophecy series, and this is from Ezekiel 38, my part four of the series, and I'm going to call this The Restlessness of Turkey. And I quote, Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. After many days you shall be visited. In the latter years you shall come into the land that is brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people, against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm, thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with you. Ezekiel 38, 7-9. Since Ataturk totally reformed Turkey after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, the stated foreign policy of Turkey was peace at home and peace abroad. The new Turkey would definitely be non-interventionist. Turkey would not be involved as an aggressor in foreign wars. Uh, yes, uh, by parentheses, yes, as a NATO ally, ally, Turkey was a partisan for the West in the Cold War. But the former Ottoman aggression was gone. It would have seemed inconceivable that modern Turkey would ever lead a coalition such as that described by the prophet Ezekiel 25 centuries ago to invade and plunder the Holy Land. But Turkey has changed as radically since 2016 as she did when Ataturk took over and commenced his radical reforms. Five times over the 90-some years of the reformed Turkey, there were serious attempts by Islamists to overthrow the Turkish secular government and to re-Islamize Turkey, and five times the Turkish army stepped in and performed its constitutional duty to maintain the secularity of Turkey by putting down the rebellion and turning the nation back to secular leadership. But in 2015-16, to 16, there was a coup attempt against Erdogan in which some generals were involved, and which Erdogan was able to survive. In the subsequent purge of military, police, and judiciary, Erdogan was able to purge up to 200,000 positions and further implement his Islamist agenda for the nation. In 2017, Erdogan secured a narrow victory in a referendum that vastly expanded his powers to govern. He became a virtual sultan. In 2018, Turkey sent troops into the Idlib province in Syria in order to destroy the Kurdish population there and to create for Turkey a buffer zone. Turkey has been no a known sanctuary and supporter of ISIS all this time. In 2019, the U.S. withdrew its small troop presence in northwest Tur uh, Syria, further emboldening Turkish ag aggression against the Kurds in Syria. Turkey has entered into conflicts since with Iraq over the liberation of Mosul, as well as conflicts with Greek, Greece, Cyprus, and is currently involving itself in a proxy war with Egypt in Libya. Erdogan has frequently been criticizing the Luazan Treaty, which is the post-World War I treaty, which set the current boundaries of Turkey and which carved up the Ottoman Empire, as well as the Sykes-Picot. The clouds are churning and roiling, and I hear the thunder and lightning. It's near time for the fulfillment of Ezekiel 38 and for the final world conflict. I pray my readers and hearers will not merely have a detached interest in these prophecies. Instead, may you see that God in his mercy has shown us these things in advance, that we might get right with him while there's still time. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. Thank you and God bless you.